Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Felipe from Level Base Gaming and I'm here reviewing Bomber Crew, a World War II strategic bombing sim where keeping your crew alive is just as important as completing the objective. And it's also a game where death is permanent. Now I'd like to just go ahead and get into the review. So does Bomber Crew have enough in the tank to be able to deliver the payload or will it completely miss the mark? We'll start with the graphics. Now, this game is not a graphical powerhouse by any stretch of the imagination. There's not that much to look at as far as beautiful landscape and breathtaking vistas. Some cities really look nothing like their real life counterparts. The character models resemble that of games like Roblox and Minecraft, but where the detail went into is in a vehicle, where you'll be spending most of your time in, your very own heavy bomber. If you're an aviation enthusiast like myself, then you'll notice that the bomber is modeled after the real-life Avro Lancaster, a British four-engine heavy bomber adopted by the Royal Air Force. Each section of the aircraft bomber is realistically portrayed from the gun turrets to the item slots on the wall, which at times you can easily miss. The flash of the gunfire and the smoke radiating from your engines are nice little touches that add intensity to an already brutally intense sim. All the little visual nuances that went into the aircraft and its surroundings almost make me forget that there really isn't much to look at when the game slows down the action. Thankfully, those times are few and far between, but there's so much more to this game than its cutesy and tough exterior, and that's where the sound comes in. The sound consists of your typical military score with trumpets, violins, and the occasional change of music when enemies make their approach. It's nothing really award-winning, but it gets the job done, and it adds to the tension when flying every single mission. There's no actual spoken dialogue in this game other than the grunts and the muffled radio chatter that crosses the airwaves that give you the illusion of spoken word. At first, I questioned this decision, but after playing the game and listening to the frantic explosions and gunfire ripping through your fuselage, I felt that this was the best course of action as the odd, inaudible dialogue adds to the bomber crew's charm. Hearing the bullets whiz by as anti-aircraft fire explodes all around you gives you a feeling of dread and helplessness as you question your ability to finish the mission. If your aircraft takes enough damage, you can hear it literally begin to fall apart on you as each engine begins to fail on you, one after another. If you do manage to return to base and successfully complete a mission, there's a real sense of accomplishment the moment you hear those tires hitting the asphalt, which is a signal that is the end to a mission and a job well done. From here, we'll wrap it up with the final verdict. The game definitely plays as advertised, which a lot of games do fail to make the mark. An exciting, brutally difficult management sim with a real sense of charm. And that's where the beauty lies, in its difficulty. I really didn't mind coming so close to death having to replay missions because I failed to hit the target, or even if I got shot down, because you can easily replay those missions where you can figure out where you went wrong. And if you do get shot down, which it was probably your fault anyway, Embarking on a mission unprepared or overconfident will see you easily at the bottom of the ocean. It's that high difficulty mixed in with an equally high reward system that will have you spending hours in this game as you continue to say to yourself, just one more mission. We at Level Base Gaming give this one a must play. For video game reviews, tech, and everything video game culture, keep it locked here at levelbasegaming.com.